The story of bluegrass music isn't simple. It's old and young, traditional and progressive, heartfelt and technical. It's the Appalachian Mountains, the big cities, the whole world. Some say bluegrass is stubborn music, best bound in tradition. Others love it for its unfettered possibilities, an empty canvas for the next generation. But everybody agrees with Bill Monroe, the father of this music, that bluegrass has brought more people together and made more friends than any music in the world. I mean, I think of bluegrass as like one of those very sort of ingrained American things like baseball. I just fell in love with bluegrass when I first heard it as a teenager. You got to be able to put two things together, that's sing and play. Really from as far back as I can remember, I knew that I wanted to play music for a living. And to hear a banjo, a fiddle, and a bass back there just driving it and a guitar, you know, man, I was liking that. I think the fascination of music and the fascination of creating music overwhelmed any cultural boundary that threatened to stand in its way. What we love about bluegrass, I think, is that explosive creativity. You really feel something when you hear it. On came the opening theme, and I was like, wow, what is that? It has its own tonality. It's not like barbershop. It just goes right for the heart. Bluegrass music is the only genre where the fan has such access to the performer. They'll offer to cook you a meal. You know? When's the last time Mick Jagger had a, a home-cooked meal on the road? <laughs> Bluegrass music is a really unique expression of the American spirit, not just in the United States, but people in Japan and Europe and people that you don't share a common language with. It reaches back. It's always reaching back at the same time we're moving forward. I've never seen them play and learn as young as they are nowadays. I think that it's our responsibility to teach them what we know. The high lonesome sound may be a cliche, but the high lonesome sound is alive and well. People need it, we relate to it, it's part of us. I jumped in over the great car, thought that would be all right, till the brake man caught me sleeping in the middle of the night. But if I'm going to try to identify bluegrass in one word, it's authentic. Passionate. Soulful, heartfelt, pure. It's a big family. Gonna go away. 